Hello, I'm Margaret Jo McCollin. And I'm Tori Rialto. And you're listening to The, the Delicious, Delicious Dish on National, National Public, Public Radio. Radio. Say, Terry, do you hear those sleigh bells jingling? Yes, and ring ting tingling too. That must mean it's the holiday season again. Yes. And in honor of this special Yuletide dish edition of the delicious dish, our audio technician, Sylvia Spencer, prepared her special nog for us. And it sits really noggy. What a funny, funny word, nog. Sylvia really used her egg noggin when she made this. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Fun times. Fun times with big nog. Fun times with nog. It's nog. Good times. It's nog. It's neat. 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 <laughs> I think I'm a little bit tipsy, Margaret Jo. I'm totally wasted. It's fun to be a little high. It's funny being drunk. I'm a little bit blitzed. Good times. Good times. Good times with nog. Man, that stuff is really strong. Sylvia makes a mean nog. Yeah, but her cornbread is always a little dry. Whoa, Terry, that was way out of line. I can't believe you just said that. Sorry, it's the nod talking. I'll have to write Sylvia a note. You sure will. Boy, you can really be a mean drunk. I know, I'm a monster. Well, so I guess, anyway, this before this turns into a brawl, let's share Sylvia's wonderful eggnog recipe with our listeners. Okay, okay. Here it is, Sylvia Spencer's non-alcoholic eggnog. Non-alcoholic. Oh. I guess we're not drunk. I could have sworn that we were hammered. Me too. I was about to make really sloppy phone calls to old boyfriends. This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. A little humiliating. It's kind of humiliating. I guess it's okay to be a little embarrassed sometimes. Yeah. I guess we're just high on Yuletide cheer. So, let's go ahead and bring out our special holiday guest. Yes. She's a very talented and cutting-edge confectionery. In fact, we like to call her the rock and roll pastry chef. She runs Viva Las Big Goods outside of Memphis. And she's here today to shake, rattle, and roll our holiday treats. Please welcome Gertrude, Gertrude Mintz. Mintz. Hi, Gertrude. <laughs> welcome to the show. Please call me Trudy. It rhymes with booty, which I shake all night long while making pastries. Why don't you have, why don't you have some knob, Trudy? Can't. I'm allergic to dairy. Thanks. Well, booty Trudy. <laughs> well, booty Trudy. Christmas sure is a great time of year, isn't it? For baked goodies. Oh, yes, it sure is. A lot of exciting new confections are appropriate for the holiday season. But the Christmas confession, it really says rock and roll <coughs> to me is a gingerbread house. Oh, neat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This took me ten months to complete. It's an exact <laughs> replica of Elvis Presley's glorious Memphis is Graceland. Wow, that's so interesting, Trudy. I didn't realize that Graceland was just one big room. <laughs> well, well, no, it's, it's not. But I just ran out of time before Christmas. I wanted to make tiny gold records out of nickel wafers. I also wanted the house to have a real working plumbing, but. Sure, sure. See that you made a garage. Yeah. It's um causes Elvis's collection of vintage cars. I made the cars out of matchbox cars. So you can't really eat the cars. No, no, they're they're made out of plastic and die-cast metals. It's too bad they don't make gummy cars. You could have used those. So that that would have been neat. Yeah, too bad. It would have. So you say, Gertrude, this took you 10 months to do? Oh, uh, yes, but keep in mind, uh, a lot of the time was spent rocking and rolling. It's hard to, uh, to bake when you rock like I do. Mm. I know what you mean. Terry and I tried to make a gingerbread Mount Vernon last year. Yeah, it got really ugly. We almost killed ourselves. Well, anyway, we're out of time. Thanks for joining us, and thanks to our guest, Gertrude Mintz. I, 
I hope I didn't get you all shook up. No, thank you for your concern. We are A-OK. -okay. Anyway, have a Merry Christmas, and join us for our upcoming New Year's planning party episode next week when we discuss catch up. You sure you're okay? You sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine.